Let's see. Oh shoot! No! No! <laughs> Stop! Please! Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and I'm back today with another uh, command block style video, request video, and as you might have seen from the thumbnail and the, what's behind me, this is a ginormous laser gun, laser cannon thing, and it was suggested by Mr. Cheese the Gopher. Yes, Mr. Cheese the Gopher, and it was suggested a while ago, but I decided to respond to it anyway. I just didn't have enough time to actually do it because it actually took a while. Um, but anyway, he wanted me to create a giant laser cannon, so this is the build for the cannon that I just built for fun, um, but it actually is a functional cannon that actually blasts holes in things pretty well, and um, it uses these command blocks, so it's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's 27 command blocks, and then there's these four command blocks that set the scoreboards, and I'm going to organize it a little better to make it a, um, a one command creation as what I did with these other ones, which I will be showing um, in a later video, but I did create some of the stuff you guys wanted me to make. Um, anyway, as you may notice, this thing is completely destroyed because that's me testing this out and totally screwing up. <laughs> but um, I managed to get it to um, I set a limiter so it doesn't completely destroy everything. Um, but yeah, it was pretty nuts. It was like... <laughs> but we'll just... I'll give you a demonstration of it without the limiter in a little bit uh, towards the end of the video. Anyway, so here is our little, um, I don't know what you call it, this is a, like a ballistics, like a ballistics block, whatever, to test how deep it goes, and I already know how deep it goes, and this is just a big area that's one block elevated, because, um, I was trying to cover some stuff up that, uh, happened over here, right here, yeah, anyway, so this is what the cannon did, pretty deep, excuse me, anyway, so, now um, we're going to get into actually testing it. So how it works is pretty simple. There's no drop. I didn't do any drop spawn or drop um, any drop crafting for this. Um, so yeah, I didn't do any drop crafting because uh, that would take more command blocks. But if you guys want me to do a drop crafting version, um, I'll just update the um, the structure file because it'll just be a structure uh, file. Uh, and I'll do a one command if you really want me to. But anyway, so... Um, I'll do a drop if you want me to and just update it right there so it'll be edited. Um, anyway, so to do this, you have to get a spawn egg, which I don't have the spawn egg with me right now. I just have this one. It's not the special one, um, but I'll make a special one for you, and it just summons a bat. So you're going to go in here, and let me do something. At e type equals armor stand come raise equals 5. Okay, let me kill this guy because there's already one in there. So just for demonstration purposes... There we go, okay. So I'm just going to put it in here, right there, and wherever you click, that's where the laser is going to be set, and then you shut it. And how it works is pretty simple. If there is a redstone block that is anywhere next adjacent to it, it'll power the laser, and if there's um, no redstone block, it won't power it. And to get it started, you have to get any item, and I believe, yeah, you call it spin with a capital S, okay? Then you drop it right here onto him, and it will kill it, and that will rotate the um that'll set the rotation of the laser so one spin is going to set it to go this way and i'm going to put one more spin so it goes that way okay so now i'm going to click this button please okay there we go okay so you can't really see the laser too well because um it's particles so i don't have my render distance on big enough but you can see the hole that it caused so i'm going to turn my render distance up there we go and um this these little command blocks here all it does is just do a um it sets this block to a redstone block and then sets it to air. So I'm going to do that again and I'll follow it this time. And you can see, there's no sound effects. I mean, you can add sound effects if you want. And um, that time, I don't think it, it didn't blow up that time. Um, there is a limiter on how far it can go. And I think that's pretty much the limit. If you want to adjust how far it can go, just go to this command block right here. And um, it will be 4 over 2 up, and change this to a bigger number, um, and it will let the thing, the um, the laser things, last a lot longer. Anyway, so just going to follow this. Oh, it did explode. Okay. There we go. Where did it go? Okay, yeah, it, it encountered the limits of how far it could go. 
Anyways, I'm going to make this a constant beam, and let's just go here. Oh. There we go. Okay, so now it's a constant beam, and if it encounters any, um, any blocks in... Oh, actually, it can go further. Anyway, so if any blocks get in the way, it will explode, and there is also a thing, so if any entities get in the way, it will also explode, but I have it set off so that it doesn't affect me. Um, because that would suck. But anyway, as you can see, it'll just explode, and it does a pretty big explosion. It's not actually that deep. Um, but that's pretty much all I did for this. You can easily disable the explosive by going, the explosive cape, a part of it, by going over to here and turning this off. Um, I'm going to actually show you a pretty cool demonstration of what happens when the laser component gets turned on. And, um, there's no limit to the TNT, which is pretty sick. Anyway, so let's do, um, I'll be right back. Anyway, so I'm back and I have fixed up that area over there and disabled the, um, the thing that prevents it from summoning too many uh, TNT explosives. So here we go. Let's power it. Oh, I can already see the hole. I don't know how that happened. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I did do one thing to prevent it from being too insane, but it will lag your world because that just summoned like 10 blocks of TNT in the same space. Let's try and get that going. There we go. Yeah, so you can hear that was like 10 blocks of TNT. So now we're going to do one more crazy thing, and there's one adjust... Whoa, what the heck? The entities are they're stacked. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, anyway, there's one more thing that um, can end up happening, and it is if... Uh, just be careful. Oh, okay. Let me fix that. <laughs> okay, anyway, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a couple wacky things to disable some command blocks, and uh, this is what happens if you disable, um, I believe it's one command block, which is uh, one of these ones up here, and um, I believe one of the ones around here, somewhere here. Anyway, but um, this is going to be pretty crazy, so I'm just going to um, see what happens. If anything happens, I'll be um, a little scared, but you know, let's see. Oh, shoot! No! No! <laughs> Stop! Please! Well guys, that concludes all my videos on this survival world. It's completely destroyed now. Goodbye. Um, that was definitely not the right decision. And that's what happens when you blow up... Uh, when you disable a couple command blocks and you you completely lose your entire world so good luck with this weird laser i don't know how you'll want to use it but have fun blowing things up and killing people anyways that's all i have for you guys today thanks for watching and i'll catch you all later